Yeah. Pull up on the scene when I girl them. Want to know who we beat is our problem. Who care less how you feel when I'm big friend. Like from we head to we fit your half a crown wear. Hey, 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 it's your girl. Pull up on the scene. I am in tune. Another order. It's another day. <clears throat> My rice are a but never the way. Talk to me, talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened if they're dead? Pull up, pull up, pull up. I don't know, it's my lady got it to me, I said, I'm day up on the scene, and Zimmy with Rusty Rose, and Zimmy. Done, 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 done. This has been a long awaited coming. Real, 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 We've been real. trying to link up for a long time, been busy, COVID happened. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. when you're walking out, let the people know who I have, who are you, where you represent, where you're coming from. Well, you don't know, you know, I'm a melody guy, you know. You see, I said straight out of St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, you know. We are um, New York. Orlando Pine Hills representer. You see me, I say? Um, right now, being on the, on the scene, um, looking at the fat volume tree. You see me, I say? Mixtape just dropped. Okay, alright, so, so we're going to vibe it to the mixtape yeah. a little bit. So we're going to catch our vibe to this mixtape. Besides dropping this mixtape, like, what else you been have going on? Because I know we were supposed to link up. You had music then, you dropped a mixtape today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just dropping some songs. Um, I dropped a couple singles, Vibes featuring Trabas, is it say? Um, we did the show with um, Blue Reef, um, the Sunday we're gone. Okay, and how, so how you perform. feel about how, how it was the performance? Yeah, yeah, I feel, I feel um, very, very good about good, the performance. Yeah, man, you know, the crowd, you know, received Bye. me very well. Yeah, okay, man, I, man. I, 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 got, I got to hear the song. And yeah. is it? I like it. It's, it's yeah, a good yeah. vibe. Respect, yes, respect, yes, respect, yes, respect, it is, respect, it is, it is. Respect, respect, respect. So, how are you? You know what I'm saying? Besides your music, what mm -hmm. you been going on? What you been? I've been good enough. It's the message just been um the lockdown phase because of COVID is the message and the quarantine. So I just been writing, been working right. on the, the So you ain't been going out? Now that's your phone, phone no. I know you had a performance last week, but besides last week. Yeah, no, we've just been cooling, you know? Okay. Yeah, just been trying to really um finalize the, the, the mixtape the right the mix way. Yeah, you know, the final tweaks and you know, get the, the, the promo and everything right. Yeah, so, what got in, like, what got you into music? What was the first, what, what age you got into it? Like, what tune it was? Um, from high school, to be honest, like, age 12. Yeah, like, me and my brother, we got regime entertainment, is it me I said? Yeah, man, me and my brother, we just started writing the lyrics as, yeah. you know, like a habit, is it? Yeah. And, um, I, I was the one that really, Started taking it serious, is when I came um, back from Jamaica to um, Orlando. Okay. Is it? Yeah, my nigga, with Yellow Spider, Yellow Spider, big up on itself. Sean Dan, Skipper, is it? The whole family, big up on itself. Big up, yeah. Big up. Um, but that's when I link up with them. I'm gonna start recording. That's when I recorded my first song, is it? Okay. Um, which was Dream. I had a dream that my pockets were thick, full of green. Okay. Going to the stage, show fans just a scream. Yeah. Run pay guns, won't try much to see. Follow. I'm in Amsterdam. Is he? So okay, hey, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, hey! Yeah. All right, all right, shut up. The first song then when we, when we record, is it? And like the reception when we receive from that song then. Yeah, yeah me see, yeah, I write my good one, you know. So, exactly. But my passion is always to write. Yeah, like, I love writing. You love writing more than the music. Yeah. So what what does writing mean to you? Is it a way that you express yourself as your thoughts? Like that's your it's, it's, um all of the above, you know, it's, it's my way to be creative. Okay. You know? Okay. Um and get my thoughts out, you know, my frustration out, you know, um say what you're feeling yeah. but you can't maybe you can't express it, you know what I mean? I can express it in a artistic, creative way, you know what I mean? So, what has been one of your biggest struggles in writing? Not being repetitive, um, and being meaningful. You know, like having a message. You know, um, something that the listener can uh, relate to. Yeah. And I feel like that's that's very important. You know, yes, because when yes. you want, when you do something or you put something out there, you want that instant reaction, like. I feel it, you know, I yes. feel his vibe, I yes. feel the words, yes. and it's different because I feel like music now is a lot of like just, yes. it's a lot of turn, you know, chill up, so you just there's don't no really have, you don't there's have no that energy. melody. Yeah, and there's no energy in the music nowadays, you see what I say? Like, so, the listener can't, you not, you can't feel it, you just yeah. You, you, vibe it. Yeah, you vibe it, but you ain't feeling it. Yeah, 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 I like that, I like so that. So that's, that's, that's my, my uh, goal and aim 
you know, as an artist, as a musician, is an asset to to bring back that that classic yeah. energy where you listen to a song uh, 10, 20 years, you still have you still have pull it up, you still have pull up a Sanchez or a Berry. Is it an asset? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, that's right. And it's still by, it's still it's rocking, still rocking, still rocking. Still still rocking. So, that's mine. That's mine. So. Who has been your biggest motivation in, in music? Like, what artist has led you to want to be greatness, to want to reach that level that they've been at? Or um, but quite a few. Uh, Mavado, Barry Salmon, of course. Uh, Bounty Killer. Oh, the OG. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. the OG. He's a, he's a old soul still. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He's a old soul still. Uh, being a man. Um, Drake, you know. Uh, a lot of people say Drake. Why? Um, personally, for me, it's just the way how he uh, brings, delivers the, the, the song, the energy that he puts behind it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, that's he. He is one of the few that I can say I can see myself ten. 15 years from now, still I listen to, you know, if And not. let's be real, it's the, it, it has really been 10 years, and we still, still vibing, and like, he's still. still putting hits out, still. so it's definitely so definitely good consistency. So what has been one of the struggles on this journey, you know, with music, with writing, with trying to stay focused, because I know it's hard, you know, like, I feel like a lot of people, I made it, mm -hmm. but don't really talk about the how you made it behind the scenes, right, so right, right. I just want to know, like, what has been behind the scenes for you, your struggles, you know, how have you gotten yourself out of those situations that have kept you and pushed you to where you are right now? Um, for me, it's, it's motivation, you know what I mean, and, and inspiration, self, mm -hmm. like, I, I motivate myself and inspire myself before I, I see or look for you know motivation. Yeah, outside, yeah, you know, um, I try to like, if I get writer's block, you know, I, I, I try to motivate myself or you know something like that. But um, other than that, would I say like just being heard? Yeah. You know what I mean? Just giving me the ear because you know say once you give me that ear that. Yeah, we just glue the and stuff. You know what I'm saying? No joke. Yeah, so it's just, it's just the air, you know what I mean? Um, so you want you want to capture. So you want your music to have that that meaningless to it. I know exactly what you're talking about. Because when I heard that promo song, I was yeah. like, cool, okay, cool, I, I vibe. Cool, I, cool, I, cool, I, I definitely vibe. I definitely cool, like cool. definitely like the music. So if you could do a collaboration. Who would it be? Mm. Like in the city, because wow. like I, I always oh, interview local. local. Okay. I know Orlando right now is on a big come up with so many talents, so many artists. You know, shout out to everyone that's definitely out there doing their thing right now. And it's crazy because during a pandemic, mm. I have seen Orlando at its highest. Right, right, yeah, yeah. When no it good, comes no to good. artists, to no music, good. to everybody that's out there doing their thing right now, I, I really must say that it's booming. You know, so. Right. Who locally would you want to collaborate with that you feel like you guys might be that next big, you know, I've been saying out of Orlando? Um, shout out one bro. Shout out one fly. Yeah, me and one fly um, is a local rapper. Okay. We have a song actually called City. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one fire song called City. Um, so is it on all platforms? Yes, yes. It's on the it's on Rookie and the Vet Volume Three. Okay. Is it me for free? Is it me? So you can go on solo and check it out. All right, all right. So where can we follow you out on Instagram as well? All right, on Instagram you can follow me um, at underscore the real melody that that's the real melody G A D. Guy. Okay, and your music, where can we find some of your uh, music? Melody Guy, uh, Spotify, Melody Guy, Pan SoundCloud, uh, YouTube, Melody Guy, okay. as well. Yeah. You're everywhere, you everywhere, know, everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. that's it. You, everywhere. you don't have to say much. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere, just give it the ear. Give it the air. Yeah, we're everywhere. Isn't it? I like that, yeah. give me the air because we're everywhere. Hey, so, what is, I need to sit up and I shut. <laughs> So I now, now I'm about to bring you up with the merch, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I like that. Put it on a shirt, it's not because I need to put up on the scene, get you first, that's definitely right. dope. So what can we look forward to? Like I said, you know, you just dropped something. Outside open back up as of Monday, you know, bars open, no. places open. No. So you have no. any upcoming performances that you have going on? Um, we have some things in the works, to be honest. Um, nothing, you know, finalized that yet, but yeah, the thing that we have videos. Um, 
Okay. Of course, we did the Brookian event. For the Brookian event, okay. Yeah, and um, we're just working, you know what I mean? Because we have a long time. To be honest, I've been doing music uh, professionally for about 12, 10 years. 10 years? And this is my my first yeah. uh, concrete body of work. You get what I'm saying? So I have a lot of you know, body of work that uh, so now, have you gotten discouraged that you've been in the game for like 10 years and never. you feel like only now never. you're actually making that break for Never, yourself? never, never. Because you see the thing is, at that time, you see what I'm saying? So when, when the time is right, it's right. When I do the freaky quote. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. What's for you is for you. And you're right, with timing, everything yeah. also reveals itself. And yeah. that's really dope, that's really dope. So now I'm gonna let you introduce your promo because we're about to crank it up, we're about to tune into it a little bit. If you don't have nothing in your cup, get a cup, sit back, we're about to vibe right now. So turn up the little promo, let me see what you have going on with our song. Me never know what's on your pussy tonight. God bless by the way you walk. Both you every day me have to drop. When you you make it jump like a frog. In a bed you know they like a lot. Not your from your band milk beauty. You got me tempted to touch like groupy. Whenever you wind up your booty, everybody has to watch you like a movie. Go girl, go girl. Everybody thing like it's yours. Mr. Mission, when you tell me first, you know me ready to get my ring in a All right, Ellie, Ellie, this, 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 this promo now, it got on the other side. Yeah, and you see the greatest thing now, with Rookie and the Fed, uh, it's, 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 uh, a music, it's all music, but it's not just dance. And, and I see that, so that's what I was saying. I see this happening to dance, and it's happening to rap. Yes. How? How hard it is for you to be versatile writing for both because I know once you have an island melody, it's hard to switch from island to hip hop to how, how has that writing process been for you? Like, how is your creative writing process? To be honest, it's really fun because, like, it's just, you know, to see what kind of melody that you come up with now. How can I intertwine the dance of the R&B with the hip hop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's, it's, it's a roller coaster, right? yeah, you know, just to see what I can come up with. And do you feel like you challenge yourself in that area? Every time, every time, every time, you know, every time because to do hardcore dancehall and then to do like a, a r and or a trap or a hip hop yeah. and to make it sound both authentic yeah. is challenging, you know, so, yeah man, but, melody, right? Uh, melody. I'm going to say, oh, big up the last I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to so everybody that's tuning in right now on the live, thank you, thank you, showing love. Another episode, pull up on the scene and on the building, you already know. We got Melody the Guy in the building. Okay. VA guys don't play around. 